Missed holidays, appointments and homecomings. Over a thousand people were unable to catch their flight from Dublin Airport yesterday due to a lack of security staff. And although the Dublin Airport Authority has apologised, it says it couldn't have predicted there would be a problem until staff clocked in for work, something that's been rejected by airlines and travel experts. DAA laid off a thousand staff during the pandemic and lengthy queues were a feature earlier on this year, but the issue seemed to have been somewhat resolved after it deployed office workers and began a recruitment process to hire more than 300 new staff. 45,000 people were due to fly from the airport yesterday and it sparked concerns that if the DAA was unable to cope with this many, it won't be able to cope with the coming June bank holiday weekend, one of the busiest times of the year. Both Transport Minister Eamon Ryan and Minister of State with Responsibility for International Transport Hildegard Nocton have expressed deep unhappiness with the situation and met with DAA Chief Executive Dalton Phillips and his management team this morning to discuss the matter. It's an operational issue for the airport. It's complex. It's a complex issue about a sudden very large increase in demand for people flying. But at the same time, real difficulty in getting the numbers of people, skilled workers, particularly uh, in the scanning, screening uh, area uh, in, in place. But we said that they have to deliver those solutions. They have to come back with options, a range of different options, so that what happened in Dublin Airport yesterday doesn't happen again. Dublin Airport has confirmed that it will compensate those who missed their flights, describing yesterday's chaos as a blip and saying it will be doing everything possible to ensure there won't be a repeat. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News.